My name is Matt Bristow and I am a senior magnet engineer here at Tokamak Energy. There's several things that we have to consider when designing a magnet. So for example, if we take a magnet like the ones behind us, part of the Demo 4 system, you'll start with a, a simple feasibility study. We have a, a set of specifications for a magnet and we go, can we feasibly make this with the conductors that exist in the world today? And when we've worked that out, it starts to become more complicated. Will they survive the mechanical loads they go under? Will it generate the magnetic fields we think it needs? Can we cool it down to the temperatures we need to operate? So to address these issues, we have to first of all take data in from the real world. This is one of the big competitive advantages that we've actually um, built here at Tokamak Energy of making small and intermediate scale magnets, testing them in the lab and seeing how well they match our, our models. We've been working with HGS magnets here at Tokamak Energy for a decade now. So we know the properties of our coils and we make sure that we're able to model and predict them well and accurately. Through the various magnets we've made and the technology paths we've explored, we've come up with a variety of ways to tune different parts of these coils, such as how much current can share uh, inside of a cable or what the resistance is between turns. And all of these factors give us the ability to tune the magnets for different applications and different operation ranges. I think another key part to mention is we always design for as much robustness in the magnet as possible, to have as much tolerance to things like uh, temperature variation or stress variation or hotspot generation in the coil to make these magnets ro uh, robust and as usable as possible. It means if they encounter issues, um, they are much less likely to go wrong. Finally, I think the thing that makes this, this team function really, really well, the general team and the modeling team, is the creativity and the ideas. We're very willing to try things and experiment and work out what will work for us. Okay.